Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Aguido Live video. This time I'm going to be doing a reaction to the new Sparkle Trail that just dropped, I think, like a few minutes ago. Yeah, literally like eight minutes ago. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for Sparkle. I really like her character. Um... Yeah, that's that's it. I think I think she's I, I think she's hot. I think she's awesome. I think she's funny as hell. Um, she's fucking crazy. And for anybody who watches my Azure Lane stuff, you know I love me some 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 crazy some crazy some crazy hot chicks. You can't fix her. I don't want to fix her. It's totally fine. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't do these very often anymore. But I did want to do one for this because I also want to let you guys know that when she comes out, I will be doing pulls over at twitchtv live, So please. Um, day of release, please come out over there and uh, you can watch those polls live. I'll be doing polls for myself and viewer polls uh, for a couple of my viewers. Um, I will be going for her EU0 and S1. If I get really lucky, I might go for E1 or E2. I don't know. We'll see. But it's unlikely, but it could happen, right? It's one of those it could happen kind of things. Mostly I want her E0, E1 because as those of you who have watched my latest Star Rail video... I do have Dill at E2, and I want to increase the power of that his character even more uh, with all this extra skill points and uh, stat conversions and all that other stuff. So let's go ahead and get into this. I did watch the Myriad Celestia. I didn't react to it. Um, I have played through all of Pentaconi. I did do uh, the uh, Black Swan Sparkle Quest, which I actually need to upload uh, at some point. And yeah, that's it. Let's go. Let's get into this. Let's, I'm I'm expecting some good music. I really love the music of Pentaconi in general, so I'm kind of hoping some good music here. I haven't been the biggest fan. Like the music in the recent trailers has not been like, oh my god. I think the last big one was I think Jing Liu's. So. Okay. All right. And whimsical. All right, I'm here for it. Definitely here for it. There's only one bullet left. Wanna play a game? <laughs> What's your wager? The life of a faker. Okay. Wasn't expecting that tone shift. <laughs> Looks like someone's. In wow. Way. Let me tell you what foolishness is. Wow, this this imagery is nuts. I am mm. Okay. Like I do. Do you get it now? What is elation? Me. Oh, oh, wow. I, there, there might need to be a trigger warning in front of this. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, I'm here for it. I like the edit of her ultimate. That's cool. That's cool. Oh my god, that was... There's still more. Dude, she's fucking crazy! She's so crazy! Oh my god. This is another if crazy, why hot? <laughs> Were she you the last scared supper? just now? Yeah, no, I was. That was that was definitely a scary that was that was creepy as hell. Holy shit, that was so creepy. That was that was awesome. Okay, so the music was good. It wasn't like it's not it's not really like a musical trailer, like so like the Kafka trailer is an example, right? But it is at the same time. Like it, the visuals on this, the kaleidoscopes, the everything, the 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 imagery of her constantly shooting herself and it's confetti, like, man, I understand it's all in playful, but god damn. The 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 amount of joke like the amount of Joker references and like psychotic character references, there's probably so many in here I'm missing. I just see I just could feel a lot of the Joker ones. Oh my god. She is fucking ow. Ah, eye contact. Uh she's crazy. Um and I love her. And I don't want to fix her. She can stay exactly like this. I so I've I've said this before on my streams, and I may have said it in a couple of videos. I love truly villainous like characters 
that like are just unashamedly like crazy and villainous because we just don't get those a lot anymore. We get mostly like sympathetic villains, right? Um, but I like I like a character that's like maybe she has some sympathy in the background there with her Celestia trailer, like maybe you know acting, you know, kind of the 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 pitfalls of acting and fooling yourself into thinking one way and all this other stuff, right? I totally get that. Um, but this this is just this is the the visuals here like sparkle the massive i am the elation i i love it i love it it's it's actually kind of kind of crazy i'm gonna watch we're gonna watch we're gonna watch it again we're gonna watch it again we're gonna watch it through again i'm gonna pause this a moment i love this opening shot here like she's an assassin of some kind it makes me for some reason some of the visuals on this make me think of tokyo ghoul um uh, especially during the scenes where uh, Kaneki is basically uh, fighting his inner self. I'm specifically mostly referring to the manga in that scenario, which is way better than the anime, by the way, because the anime has problems. But anyways, that's not here. Mm -hmm. I'm not a foot guy, but I'm a leg guy, and their constant shots of legs is killing me. Another character that she reminds me of, um, and I'm going to out myself here for a second, but it's like the only uh, uh, Lolly S character that I ever was like, okay, I get I get this character, and that's Rory Mercury from uh, Gate. If you know, you know. Um, because oftentimes they have, uh, just a side tangent here, oftentimes Lolly characters act childish, even though they're supposed to be adults, and that's a problem. But if they're just short uh, short uh, women in general, like they actually act like adults. It's a little bit different. It's basically it's, play a game? Whatever, whatever. <laughs> What's your That's why her design doesn't really bother me because she doesn't. She surprisingly, despite how childish that she can be, she is definitely not a child. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. That actually. It doesn't like trigger me or anything along those lines, but the imagery here, boom, right? This imagery, like, it even has a flag. There's even there's even a little flag on on the gun here, right? There's even a little like a little flag. Like it's just, oof. oh wow. And then the shock to the laugh, it's just mm. I'm getting I'm getting rune vibes. Let me tell you what foolishness is. The the bored expression of like it being a fake gut. Mm. Pretending to be smart like you do. Then what is a fool? The fact that she might be like scared of herself, right? Like there this this concept and idea of that she doesn't even know who she is anymore. She is the fool. Uh because we see that a little bit in the in the Sparkle story. Um is like she's she's not she's not just lol I'm random. There is some there is a method like as a as a friend of mine once told me, and I agree to this day, there is a method to the madness of me. Or is she really like the kind of girl with a plan, I guess, on some level? Yo, look at that. Look at that. I hope at some point we get um, a elation, a, an erudition DPS that is, not, is also a masked fool um, that actually works with Sparkle's kit. Because she is elation, I want to like I want a follow up attack. I want to use like Jing Yuan or a follow up attacker that actually is like a masked fool. That way you could kind of make a masked fool team. Sans Sampo, because screw Sampo, I don't like Sampo, right? <laughs> Dude, what are what are these? What are these? What is going on? Look at this, dude. Star Rail Hoyoverse team going crazy. This shot. They, it's supposed to be blood. Like, just just straight out, I hope I hope that's just not even, like, a question. This is all supposed to be blood. Man, she is a walking... This character... So, for all the people who are... I'm going to bring it up now. I was, wasn't going to. For all the people who are, like, she's racist and all this other crap, right? She's... Whatever. I don't fucking care. Um, and not because I, I think it's she's not 
or that she is not like a terrible person. It's because I just don't care that a terrible person is a terrible person in a video game, basically. Um, she is a walking trigger warning, clearly. Uh, between all of that stuff, I guess, that people have inferred from her dialogue, whatever. And this, she's just a walking trigger warning. And I love her character. I absolutely love it. I, I like a character. I like her because she makes me, even me, uncomfortable at times. And I think it's okay for us to be uncomfortable by the media we consume. It's, frankly, a safe way of becoming uncomfortable, to being pulled out of your box a little bit. That So to understand other perspectives or things that are different from the way you view stuff. Whether that is valid or that, that adds something to your life is up to each individual person. But I like... I like being uncomfortable and I and I feel like in this day and age people are just so like I don't want to be uncomfortable at all I want to be in my little safe box right and I don't fucking care about that so I I love this I think this is fantastic you know what I like this shot of her turning into all the characters because here's the thing we don't know she could be turning into any of these characters right it could actually happen. We've seen her turn into Robin. We've seen her turn into uh, uh, into uh, uh, Sampo. We've seen her turn into like robot people and things along those lines. It's so crazy to me that she's a Harmony character, right? Like she's a Harmony character that does all these buffs because she seems like the character that her personality and everything may instead be better like suited to a to a elation like follow up attacker or something along those lines like oh i did the attack but actually it's this attack coming this way i don't know it's very interesting the design choice they decided to go with uh her being a harmony character uh in all of this because she's so disharmonious unharmonious i'm not sure the right word there but she's so disorganized discordant basically um that she's not very harmonistic so i guess the, the the, uh, the contrast there is really cool because she is this super harmonizing character but in, in terms of gameplay, but her personality is super chaotic and all over the place. I love it. Also, I just, I just love you, girl who likes a little mischief. I'm just saying. This is, this is, this is the shot. This is the shot right here. This is, this is the shot. I think this is her skill animation. Look, look at these face. Look at these faces. Look at these faces. Look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. I love it. it I feel like I'm watching. So years ago, years like years and years and years and years in a long, far off land, the very first time we ever heard about Jinx in in League of Legends. And we got her music video. The first real music video that uh, Riot did for their game. And I remember being absolutely blown away by how like crazy and awesome and all this other stuff that she was. Jinx was one of my favorite characters way before Arcane and all this other stuff, right? Um, and I just feel like I'm watching that again. I feel like I'm getting that moment again. And this is really cool. Yo, I didn't even catch that last time. This one actually is a bullet. Straight up. They they straight up like fantasy, you know, unicorn rainbow bullet her. That's that's crazy. There's so much suicidal imagery in this, and that's that is bold, in my opinion. It's very, very bold of them uh to do that. Yeah. That is that is super bold of them and this like last supper death stare of hers here i hope we get another quest with her the gun on the table <laughs> i am sparkle who is sparkle who is Were you scared just now it's crazy to me so you know her va right her va is um um oh crap uh, Yanfei in Genshin, right? And like, I did not, I, I don't like, I don't, I didn't like it. I'll be honest. I didn't really like her English VA specifically. I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't enjoy, I didn't think it fit the character. I just, it didn't come across with me. I'm not saying she's a bad voice actress or anything on those lines, but God damn, is she doing such a good job over here at Sparkle? Like, holy crap. Just fucking keep on going. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's, 
I I'm I'm so excited for this character. I I can't even I can't express just how much I am living for all of the energy that comes with her character right here. Like look at like yeah. I think I'll just leave it right there while I finish my final thoughts. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a bunch of pulls for her. Definitely going. I'm definitely going for her now. After this trailer, I was already going for her. I'm definitely. I'm continuing. I'm continuing. Continuing the rise of Sparkle. Um, I, I, I will forever be a Sparkle stand. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Did you like the trailer? Did you enjoy the trailer? What do you think of this 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 crazy clown uh, uh, lady that we're getting? Uh, it's it's just wow. Yeah, that's it. Uh, if you like this type of content and you want to see more of it, please leave a like and a subscribe. Leave a comment down below what you thought, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.